Welcome to Wine Chats with Bildo and Lindelin. My name is Billy Milovanovic, aka Bildo. And my name is Lindsay Kirkwood, also known as Lindelin. And this is an offensively funny podcast about drinking wine and chatting life. Hope you enjoy. I was going to say, what's wrong with your arm? Where's your wine glass? It's way over there, Billy. (laughs) We are so not ready. (laughs) You hit the button too early, for God's sakes, Billy. I didn't even ask if you were ready. Should we um, just start? No. Yeah. Hi. (laughs) (laughs) Hello. Yeah, hi. Um, Look, we are doing, I don't even really know what the topic is, like just medical weirdness. Weird medical mysteries, weird medical cases. I've been watching, this is what, um, uh, this is a suggestion for me because I have been watching The Resident on Stan recently. It's like a medical drama. Okay. It's so good. But because of that, like I just keep thinking about like medical things. So I'm like, let's do weird medical mysteries. So we're doing weird medical stuff. (laughs) There is mine. Did, What's did the you problem? see what I just let you do? Like ramble in your Billy stage where you just ramble? Yeah, but I found a full stop. Can you believe? Finally, you did. Um, today we are drinking Little Ripples, our favorite lovely little wine sponsor. And look at, we have like nice condensation on the bottle that makes it look extra like. You love a good condensating bottle. I condensating, do. Condensating, yeah. I absolutely do. Yeah. For white wine, obviously. It just makes it more inviting to me, right? To me, it's just like you should go back in the fridge. You're sweating, bro. <laughs> Sweat problems. <laughs> I have sweat problems. I can't like because you know, we're friends and we all know each other now, right? Like I literally have a tissue in my armpit right now because I am dripping armpits. Armpit Both of sweat. Them. Yeah. It literally dripped in her arm earlier. So apologies. Like, That's not to do with little ripples. They did not do this to me. Um just a little note. Hey, I'm sweating. <laughs> so when I see a sweaty bottle, I think like she's struggling. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you should go in the fridge. Oh, I would should. love to. Okay, so back to little ripples. <laughs> It's not always about you, Billy. Isn't it? Um, they're amazing. So like they're low carb, low sugar, zero sugar, half alcohol, if you want the half alcohol one. Mm-hmm. Um, vegan, plus the main thing is like they have a tagline thingy like wine to water. So every bottle that you buy, they will give water to one person for a whole year. Not two years, one year. So, <laughs> see Just that? in case. Um, like, obviously a person in need. For water? Yeah. yeah. Like, um, they're not going to give Billy water for a year. She'd no, they give me wine. <laughs> yeah, I would too. They probably need to give me water for all the sweating I'm doing. Um, so yeah, if I didn't say it, Pinot Grigio 2023. I think yes. I said that, yes. Beautiful. Um, delicious. Ooh, girl. Pour, and Pour it up. In our cute little glasses. Cute, little love. Little ripples. Yeah. I love these glasses, actually. They do not sweat, which is fantastic. Right? They're such a Lindsay vibe. It makes me feel fancy. Can you shut up and put the lid on the wine bottle while I hold it? Well, because I can't. I've got T-Rex arms. Oh, T- yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. the tissues. <laughs> this is great. I'm so glad it's on camera. It's great. Oh, no. oh did you lose the tissue? I feel I like know. you lost I that did. tissue. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, good. you moved oh, your no, arm too much. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't judge me. I'm just being honest. Like, this I just feel like we're close so enough now that we can so share great. this information. Okay. Um, let's go. <laughs> my pits are dry as a baby's bottom. I know I touched them they are I cannot believe that somebody can just walk around with dry pits like that uh, the perfection oh is gosh. unreal that is a medical um, mystery why am I so sweaty <laughs> like seriously what is happening I don't know I was literally like I'm sorry I know we haven't even cheered let's cheers, oh, yeah, cheers and um try the wine before I go into my pit story um oh my god mm-hmm. I mean that's delicious it's such a like to me it's just such a nice white wine it's yeah I can't fault it at all oh uh, true true it's like Bitter, but not in an offensive way. Yes, but tart as well. Yes, tart's probably the better word than yes. bitter. Yeah, take bitter away from it. Take it away. <laughs> with your, with your, take, take, Ew, it away. take it away. <laughs> with your T-Rex arms. Ew. Uh, it was so I'm funny. Saying, well, I was just sitting there at the kitchen counter where we work before we record. And I w- I keep like dabbing my pits. But then I was just sitting there and I said to Lindsay, like, actually look at what's happening. Because down my arm... You could see a big drop oh. of just sweat, like trickling down the inside of my arm. Not trickling, flowing. It like, was, it was not on trickling. its way. Yeah, it's craziness. I stopped using antiperspirant a few years back. Oh yeah. no, when you, anyway, it was a couple of years ago, a year ago. I don't, I don't know. I haven't used antiperspirant in, I literally couldn't tell you, or deodorant. Yeah. I don't wear either. That's why you smell so much. Uh, but I do, but it's seriousness, yeah. do I smell? You really don't, and it's very annoying. You are around me in a very close quarter all year I round. I really am. 
have I ever like I mean no you haven't and frankly I think I stank more when I used antiperspirant like I really do I think like the way the odor mixes with it actually like made me like stinky whereas when I don't wear it anymore I mean you can tell me if I probably am a little bit musky but (laughs) (laughs) but like generally speaking I don't think it's like super I actually think it was worse when I was wearing antiperspirant musky yeah um, look, I've got the worst nose in the world. So if you do smell, great. you're in the best company you could Perfect. possibly be in. Oh, great. Um, medical mystery, number one. <laughs> what is happening with <laughs> Billy's body? Um, now into the real medical yes. mysteries. Yes, Billy. I found this Sh- great website. Oh, um, God. Okay. About My mic muffers. Do you mind? Okay, it's I'm fine. Speaking. I'm speaking. Okay, go. The case of the tree in the lung. <gasps> I came across this very quickly when I did my Google research, but I stopped reading because I'm like, good, I I will tell you about it. Go. In 2009, a Russian man visited a hospital complaining of chest pain and coughing up blood. Never a good sign. Upon examination, doctors discovered that he had a small spruce tree growing in his lung. It is believed that the man inhaled the seed, which then sprouted inside his lung. The tree was removed and a complex surgery and the man made a full recovery. Like these are legit ones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he inhaled the seed. Yes. And it grew the tree. A tree. I'm surprised he didn't like manage to like climb up the tree and find giants up there. Imagine if he had the magic bean. It's like eating a magic bean. Billy, you say the stupidest things. That's a beanstalk. Same shit. And then a spruce tree? Trees. What's a spruce tree? (laughs) It's a tree. (laughs) Sprucey. <laughs> okay. How did it grow without sunlight? I'm intrigued. And is there water in the lungs? Like, how did a tree grow? Yeah, like, it's, surely it's probably, like, a bit moist in there for a tree to... Well, maybe spruce trees need darkness and moisture. I don't know. Do they? I don't know. They, Lindsay, guess we're so. not here. We're, <laughs> we're not here to solve medical mysteries. <laughs> we're here to just create more. Just create. That's right. Just to more make questions. you think about it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, lesson. Don't inhale a spruce Seeds? tree seed. Yeah. Or any tree. Or try and see what you can grow. Like, seriously. <sighs> he survived back in 2009 in Russia. You will survive in Australia in 2024. Yeah. Okay, the case of the laughing death. This one's kind of sad. Oh, I think I know where this is going. I don't want to hear about this. Where do you think it's going? Just well, somebody laugh, laughed at something so hard they died? Isn't that like a good way to go, though? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, you're incorrect anyway. So oh, good. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, no, it gets worse. It's probably oh. worse than what you thought. Oh. In, 19, in the 1950s, a group of children in Papua New Guinea oh. began experiencing uncontrollable laughter, followed by paralysis and eventual death. Oh, no. The, I would rather the, the first one. Totally. Oh. The mysterious illness known as Kuru, K-U-R-U, was eventually traced back to the practice of cannibalism <gasps> among the four people. Kuru is caused by a prion, a type of protein that can cause other proteins to misfold, leading to brain damage. Wait, but what's with the laughing? La- the laughing? What's with the laughter? How, why were they laughing? Uh, brain damage. I think it literally <gasps> oh! like damaged their brain. Because they ate another person, the proteins were like, eh, and then yeah, brain but damage, I'm wondering, and then it made them laugh. serious illness was eventually traced back to the practice of cannibalism among the four people. So, like, obviously the kids must have been cannibals yeah. as well, yeah. I, I would assume. That's or, like, what there's I a travel from- down generation. Oh, medical mystery. But, I mean, if it was a bunch of kids, like, do you have to eat a person who's, like sick or something like i wonder if the person who you're eating has to have you know well i got it because the protein from like our the protein in our bodies yeah are like eh, because they don't want to like mix but i mean does do we all have that protein i don't know kuru is caused by a prion a type of protein that can cause other proteins to misfold because obviously not all cannibals die of laughter no. Do you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. does a p- certain person have to have this type of thing? I don't know. On Yellow Jackets, nobody. Oh, died right. Of nobody. That. Yeah. No. Um, spoiler alert for the people who haven't seen Yellow Jackets. If you have not Jeez. seen it and seen the ads about them eating each other, you get the gist. Your, it's your fault. Have you finished that season yet, by the way? No. Oh, God. The Loser. case of the tooth growing in the oh. eye. Ew. How? What? What? In a rare and perplexing case from China. A woman was found to have a tooth growing in her eye. <gasps> what do you want to bet it's one of those, like, it was supposed to be a twin, but it ended up, like, absorbed by her? You know how, like, when people are twins, but then one twin, like, gets absorbed by the other? You've never heard of like that? Like, in, in the womb. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were, like, talking about it. Like, yes. Yeah. Oh, and that, it was, like, 
that, oh, but then teeth? I don't know. Read on. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us. The 28 year old patient had been experiencing eye discomfort. <laughs> you have a tooth in there, lady. <laughs> And blurry vision, and oh. upon examination, doctors discovered a fully formed tooth embedded in her eyelid. Wait, in her eyelid? Yeah, in her eyelid. So on the inside okay. of the eyelid, she must have had a tooth that was causing discomfort to her eye. Oh my god! So every t- like you would, just yeah, be like you like, would imagine, yeah, something in my eye yeah. constantly. Um, uh, further investigation revealed that the tooth had developed from the woman's own dental pulp, a phenomenon called uh, known as heterotopic tooth development. This Wait, stra- what? <laughs> this strange and unexpected case left both the patient and the medical community amazed and highlights the extraordinary complexity of the human body. But I, that doesn't answer my question. What do you mean her dental, what was it, dental pulp? What is that? I don't know what dental pulp is. So what, did she like sneeze? And, like, no, I think she just developed like that. Like whether, right. so... Uh, upon embedded further investigation revealed that the tooth had developed from the woman's own dental pulp. Dr. Heterotopic Phil. tooth development. Right. Yeah, I Dr. Mean, Phil. Not like the Dr. Phil, my Dr. Phil, oh, my dentist, yes. Dr. Phil. Oh, yes, vital, yeah, vital yeah, dental. Vital dental. Hi, Dr. How Phil, does that work? help us. There you go. Okay. Um, okay. Gross. The, the, weird. Yeah. I don't know if she had it removed. It doesn't say. Right, of course. Well, like, surely, would. Would have been, like, or would they just be like, "Lady, you have a tooth in your eye." That's a medical, like, amazing medical thing. And then she just left it in there just to be cool. No, and then just went and worked for a circus. That's probably what I'd do. Just saying. The stuff that comes out of your mouth. The okay. case of the woman with ten thousand gallstones. Whoa! What, Can you wait, imagine? I, I think so. Oh my God, <laughs> ten thousand. Oh my God! No more. Oh. In 2015, a woman in India underwent surgery to remove almost 12,000 gallstones wow. from her gallbladder. Okay. The woman had been experiencing abdominal pain, of course, <laughs> for several years before seeking medical attention. Why do people do that? Why do people do that? Look, I, I don't, this isn't meant to be racist, but I think some cultures. Right, just avoid. Maybe go into they, the doctor when they feel years of discomfort. Well, maybe they use their own medical like right. remedies and stuff. Oh, I don't know. That sounds really racist. That's probably what know. got her to twelve thousand gallstones. Um, so for <laughs> several years before seeking medical attention, doctors were shocked to discover the large number of gallstones, God. which they believe were caused by a high cholesterol diet. <gasps> Ooh, Indians do they eat high? I was going to say high cholesterol for India doesn't seem to be a. Thing. I mean, lots of. Uh, the, again, I'm thinking of Western like Indian current, like food. They eat. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, but ouch. Know. Okay, and the last one oh, before we take it to one. a break. The last oh, one, riveting. The case of the man with a nail in his head, like a a nail. This like one confuses me because I'm like, how did how did like, how bro a fingernail or like a nail a nail nail. nail. Okay, okay right. yeah. A good question. Wow. Good, good distinction. No, Teeth true. Teeth and eyes. Uh, yeah, knows? nails, yeah. sure. In 20, uh, 2018, we're bringing it back to China, a man in China visited the hospital complaining of headaches and vision problems. I hope it wasn't for years and years. Upon examination, doctors discovered a 3.2-inch nail embedded in his skull. That's That's a large. big one, right? That's a nail. But this is what they think. It is believed that the man had accidentally inhaled the nail... While working with power tools. No, no, no. Stupid Asians. Sorry, God. Oh my God. Stupid I'm going to have to cut that out. No, you're not. I take it back. I apologize. I just mean stupid people. How do you accidentally? I don't know. It is believed that the man had accidentally inhaled the nail while working with power tools. Like, (gasps) oh, there it goes. Oh, accidental. Oh, accident. I'm just going to wait for years and then go to the hospital. The nail was successfully removed in surgery and the man made a full recovery. I'm no doctor, but if you inhale something, how does it end up in your head? Doesn't it go down your totally. system? Totally. Like this This one story actually makes no, I thought it was going to give us know. more details than that. It doesn't because it's fake. <sighs> I, I, I mean, that la- they all seemed legit until that very last one. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy with the tree in his chest, absolutely legit. <laughs> One bottle, one person, one year. Linda Lynn, tell us about our sponsor, Little Ripples. Billy, I love Little Ripples. They're not just an ordinary wine. They're extraordinary. They sure are extraordinary because their goal is to provide 5 million people with clean drinking water within 10 years. 
Their main goal bill is to facilitate the construction or repair of a water well, and they help maintain it for over 10 years. And they do this mainly in regions like India and Africa. I love companies like this. They're making wine to water. So go try it. So T-Rex had to (laughs) add new tissues to her arms. Are we all right? We are. I just had to replace them because the other ones were drenched. (laughs) So gross. But yet fascinating. A medical mystery. I'm a med- yeah. <laughs> There's so many things wrong with you that could be a medical mystery. Honestly, where do we start? I don't know. Good wonder question. how many nails I have in my head from all those inhalations during the time I worked with tools. There's so much wrong with that sentence. Right. Um, okay, so I did some research, um, Googled some weird like syndromes that people could have. Fun. I wonder how many of these I have. Right. Oh, so many of them. No, you really have have none of them. Okay, great. Okay, so this one everyone's heard of, the werewolf syndrome, right? Oh, the hair. Yes. The hair in the body. And it made me think, um, have you finished yet Wolf Like Me? I haven't even started second season. Oh my God, how can you not watch the second season? I don't know. I just feel like first. I'm waiting for something. So like I'm uh, waiting for a time on like a rainy day like this where I could just binge it. This you know is I mean? the time because we're talking yeah. about werewolf syndrome. It's a little bit disturbing the second season if you have I mean the first it. season was disturbing. Yeah, it's as a right. Okay. Second one's up there. Okay. Um so werewolf syndrome. Obviously you, you look like a werewolf. You grow hair on your ears. The only place that you don't grow hair is on the soles of your feet <gasps> and the palms ah, of your hands. No way. Yeah. But everywhere else. Oh, that's all. Everywhere else. Yeah. All over. I remember seeing a little girl back in the news years ago. Yeah. Full werewolf syndrome. She I was think adorable. She, she was. I think she was from India. I want to say that too. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. saw that too. Because yeah, gross on your face, your ears. Yes, yes, yes. Everything yeah, like on, is yeah. covered. And yeah. every full moon, you're like, oh, no, that's so wrong, Lindsay. Don't be like that. That's werewolfist. <laughs> that's actually really funny. I don't know. Werewolfist, like yeah. racist. Yes. yes. Well, that's so funny. I can't say it, but yes. <laughs> um, okay. Facial blindness. <gasps> you can't see people's faces. Kind of. So people with facial blindness may struggle to identify (gasps) even familiar faces or to tell people apart. So those people with severe cases may not even be able to tell. Oh, we got an email. Oh my God, we're so famous. (laughs) Is it from someone telling us we're getting something (laughs) delivered? Um, uh, No, no. It's like, we do audio for your industry. Do you want (laughs) to? No. We can't even, like, no. (laughs) No, back off. Um, No, so they can't even distinguish faces that they actually know. So people with the, like, bad form. Or their own face. What? So, like, I would assume, (gasps) like, if they're looking at a photo or something. They wouldn't recognize themselves. They wouldn't recognize themselves. That's hectic. I've never heard of that. That's hectic. Me neither. And I was like, that's actually really sad. Like Totally. I'd love to know, like, do you have any stats about, like, how many people in the world get this? Is it like a, it can't be a popular thing if we've never heard of it. (laughs) <laughs> it's a dumb <laughs> thing. We haven't dun, heard of a dun, lot of yeah, things. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> Just take a sip of our little ripples. Um, no, but I actually thought of this being a mom. Mm. Like, oh my imagine God. if you had kids and like, you obviously you would explain it to them, but- like how you would have to almost start wearing colors. She, no, I was just saying, say like, time. if you, instead of like, cause you can't recognize mom. Okay, mom's just gonna wear red. Okay, I'm, that's gonna be my color. And dad's just gonna wear blue. Okay, so when you see someone in the house wearing blue, you'd be like, oh, that's dad. When you see no someone in the house wearing red. face. I mean, if the well, mom had mom. the facial blindness and she didn't recognize her kids, you dick face. Well, then you dress the kids in colors. Same oh thing, it works God. both ways. Uh, God, be better. Just trying to make a solution here. Like, or have like a little flower or something that they each wear in the a day. The next syndrome <laughs> is... <laughs> The Sleeping Beauty Syndrome. Oh, I've heard of this. Have you? Okay, I have not. I don't know what it is, but I have heard of it. Obviously, it's got something to do with sleeping. Wow, private detective over here. Right. So people with this experience periods of excessive sleep. Granted, right? Okay, These well, episodes can last up, no, wait, wait for it. Can last up to 20 hours a day and bouts may go on for days, even weeks. Oh my God. So these episodes, like blah, blah, blah. But then they can have like flu-like symptoms afterwards. Of course you would. You just slept for 20 hours. Also, five days in a row. when awake, people with the syndrome may exhibit various odd behaviors, including eating excessively, hallucinating, and acting childish. Oh my God. So the four measly hours that you are awake, you act like a moron. You're deluded <laughs> and like right? starving and deluded. 
I'm crazy. Hey, that's um, really sad. I would rather look like a werewolf, I think. I would rather not see people's faces. That too, yes, 100%. Right. Um, this one is funny because <laughs> of you right now. <laughs> Alien hand syndrome. So with you and your little T-Rex. So <gasps> alien hand syndrome is like when your hand and arm do, in, like you're not controlling it, but like the, it, um, your body takes over your arm and it just like does these weird little like movements. Oh, I, I'm so <laughs> glad you don't have that because you would just punch me all the time. I yeah, have a maybe feeling. I have it. Yeah, it's like, oh, I have the syndrome. I can't even yeah. do it because, again, my T-Rex arms. And, like, they have, like, weird, like, it looks like alien, like your hands, oh, like, do weird convulse, things, but, like, do, yeah. So they're, like, perfectly healthy hands, but, like, yeah. they just make weird shapes with their hands. With like, hands in your arms. They just oh, do. Um, that would be annoying, to be honest. Usually hand. Yeah. Um, people with this movement disorder may also feel that the limb is not part of their body. <gasps> yeah. Well, alien. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like an alien to your body. <laughs> We are getting that right. We got it. It's not lost on us. Stone man's disease. Why is it a man? Oh, I think I saw this one in Game Ooh, of Thrones. Did you? Yeah. So it's like when you're like the tips of your fingers start and then they get like really like hard and like stone like and then it just keeps spreading up your body. Yes. That was literally on Game of Thrones. Not just your hand. It can oh. be your legs as well. I just assumed it would go from the extremities in, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. So your cognitive cognitive la, 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 la. tissue where ligaments, tendons, or skeletal muscles essentially Ooh. turn into bone. Ooh, that's like, harsh. Think of that. You, like you would just want to be put to sleep. You wouldn't want to live that way. No. So people who have this condition may be unable to move and can develop difficulty eating and breathing. Duh. Because your insides are literally- oh God. Are turning to the stone. Aren't bone turn into bone. Ew, that sounds really harsh. And they become like locked into place. Oh yeah. Seriously, if that happens, just like take me to the top of a staircase and throw me down. Uh, it's called being euthanized. There's many nice, you could do it. I don't think you can do bed. that shit legally. So just yes, like, you can, do it. can you get euthanized legally? Like for, for that type of thing? Okay, well then euthanize me, please. <laughs> do it oh. formally. <laughs> it's fine with me. Whatever you want to do. Formal. Happy to be thrown down the stairs as well though. If you find that easier, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you can live with. At that stage, it's whatever you can live with. But you might not live. And then you're bone and broken. Your whole body's broken. I just expect by the time I get to the bottom of the stairs, I'd be in pieces, you know, because you're bone. And the last one before we (laughs) leave you, because we've traumatized you way too long already. Walking corpse syndrome. So this involves a person believing that they are dead or soulless. So it's dubbed like the vampire syndrome as well, kind of. (gasps) Excuse me. Oh. So, or parts of their body, which are actually intact, are missing, such as organs or blood. It's often seen- What do you mean they're missing? So they think that they're missing- Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's often seen in patients who have severe depression. People with this disorder may believe in their death so strongly that they just starve themselves because they're like, well, I'm dead. I've, I've got no oh soul. My I'm God. part dead already. Oh, that was a bit depressing. So, cheers to little ripples. <laughs> Why do we talk about this garbage? I don't know. Like, what? That is, none of this stuff was on The Resident, okay? This is all just... But I feel like we learned a lot today. Did we, though? Not really. I don't but, well, know. Well, no, we t- did. Anyway. Billy wants to be thrown down the stairs if she turns into bone. That's all I got out of this whole episode. Just in case. Um, that and I'm sweating so hard that it really, if I did turn into bone, I would just yeah. like get like if you're defrosted not- cr- pretty much straight away from my sweat. Deboned. I'd, t- I'd actually be more likely to turn into jelly at this stage. Go on, Billy. Than to be turned uh-huh. into bone. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't, but anyway, I like Anyway, it's raining out. Lindsay's letting me ramble, so I think I'm just going to wrap it wrap. With her little T-Rex and, um, arms. Yeah. Ee, ee. yeah. Okay, uh-huh. bye, guys. Hit the <laughs> bye, button, everybody. Billy. No, not with your toe. Do it with your arm. So funny. Don't drop your sweaty tissue. Thank you for joining us for this latest episode of Wine Chats Podcast with Bill and Lindsay. You can find us on our socials on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And you can listen to us on any favorite podcasting app or watch on YouTube. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, review, comment, send us some love. We absolutely love it. Chat soon. Come on, Lenny. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Come on. Okay, we'll add in chat soon at the end. Yep. Both of us? Yeah, go okay. on. Chat, chat soon. soon.